Okay, what we have here is a do-it-yourself uh, camp shower, I guess you would say. I got a tsunami, 500 gallon per hour. I guess it's like an aerator from Walmart designed for a uh, it's in the bilge pump family and it, I guess what they marketed under was a live well you know to keep the fish alive and that's my bait bucket but I'm going camping here pretty soon so what I did is I went ahead and took 10 feet of regular hose water hose and the attachment that had come with the pump I was able to stick the water hose over that nipple and this right here was the the outlet, you know, that the, the backflow back into the container, right? So I just took that hose off, went ahead and closed the valve. It's got a valve and open and shut. Makes a great little aerator. And I hooked up uh, my line. I hooked up my line to my marine battery deep cycle. I went down to Home Depot and got this little switch, it's just a lamp switch. But if you see, it turns it off and it's fine. Eventually, I will put in a inline fuse before we head out. But what I got out of it, no, oh, and this is just a dog food vittle. I picked that up. I don't remember where. Maybe at the pet food place or online. It might have even been given to me. Uh, but I, you know, I got that. So what I did is I filled that up to this line here and ran it out. As you can see, I put the pump. You probably won't be able to see it, but it's down there on the bottom. Probably, as you can see, probably three inches from the bottom of the, uh, the vidor right here. And I went ahead and marked the line there with water. And I was able to get, let's see, probably, uh, I think it was exactly seven minutes of, of run time with the shower. And if you see, that's how it comes out. Now, this right here is a little shower head I got from Ace Hardware. A little cheapy for, I don't know, three, four dollars. Um, but it's doing the job actually you know what there's a hole right down the center behind where you screw in right there and so I just took a drill bit because I think the hole was maybe eighth of an inch so I went ahead and put the drill bit with size it was maybe maybe quarter inch five sixteenths so anyways I drilled that out just so I could get more flow because it was backing up and um, it works perfect now with seven minutes and a run time and a switch I think that's gonna be perfect and what I intend to do is probably boil some water you know before the shower leave the bin out you know all day so it can get warm and and go from there but yeah pretty simple do-it-yourself shower with a lot of the stuff I had here already uh, hope you enjoy the video thanks